In every deliberation, we must consider the impact of our decisions on the next seven generations. When I think about City Year, I think about the impact we are making in our schools with our kids. The fact that we are directly working with students one-on-one -on -one in academics and also in mentoring. The fact that I stand side by side with my students in order to coach them to get them to their success. We're changing lives every day by going into the classroom. We're able to talk with them one-on-one. -on -one. We're able to craft different ways for the students to learn. And I'm just happy that I'm able to be that student's go-to guy or the student's mentor. As part of the larger team in City Year with 54 core members, sometimes I feel empowered. And sometimes I understand that we're in a big fight that we're struggling to win. The fight is for students to become part of the community. Not just part of the community, but to be the best they can in their community. Each one of our students have so much potential that they will never tap in and reach if someone is not there to keep continually to push them and continue to push and push. I've also taught them to push for themselves and that's what's gonna get them to college, to become entrepreneurs, to go into a trade, to get a skill, to start their own business, to become an artist. That is what I hope for my students. I know I'm gonna graduate, go to college, and start my own engineering business. City Years helped me get A's in math. Before City Year helped me, I, I had an elf, and now I bring myself up to a B. City Year is not just red jackets and cheerleaders. It may seem that way at times, and we may look like that at a lot of times. However, the work that I am doing with my students is critical. Students need this extra push in school. And not just that, but they need to understand how important they are and how important it is to set these goals now and set these habits. I acknowledge that you did do a really good job, but I want to see that really good job happen over and over and over. Because a really good job happening once is an accomplishment, but a really good job happening over and over, it becomes routine. We want it to become ritual, that not only do you do your best in the school, but you do it at home, you do it everywhere in life. I personally want my students to not only graduate from high school, but to graduate doing the best that they absolutely can. Achieving the highest standards that they can meet in order to prove to other people that they're worth it and that they mean something to this world and this community. And also a lot of my students know that I'm pushing for them to go to college. <laughs> I decided to serve two years because after working in McClellan last year and seeing the impact that I made there, I knew that I couldn't just go on and get a job. I had to continue to make a difference. And this year, working at the elementary school, I can still see that difference. So being on both sides of the fence, elementary and high school, I can see that City Year is making a huge impact. The person within the red jacket may change, the purpose doesn't. Anytime you see someone in red, you know, this person is here to help me, they care, and they want me to do my best. And that's why it's important to have a City Year from third to ninth grade. I personally am going to grad school next year um, in order to continue my goal of becoming a classroom teacher. I decided to do City Year in order to figure out whether or not being in the classroom was a fit for me. And working with my students now, I can see that I'm making steps in the right direction. Ms. Allison, she made math more fun and now I'm getting a passing grade. I'm glad that they teach me and have after school with me. My favorite city year, Miss Crystal, she really helped me. I like the core members because they ha uh, helped me with my homework. One thing I would say to Miss Crystal is thank you, and I would give her a big hug. We have not done this work alone. More than 10 years ago, a remarkable group of public servants, philanthropists, and business leaders came together to bring city year to Little Rock. And every year, we honor one of these remarkable champions at the Red Jacket Ball. These leaders have built the foundation of City Year Little Rock. And their impact will affect students for the next seven generations. Tonight, we want to let you know whose lives you're changing. My name is Chase. I'm in the fourth grade. Thank you, Mrs. Clark. My name is Kendrick. I am in the sixth grade. Thank you, Mr. Daly. My name is Corvell. I'm in ninth grade. Thank you, Mrs. Lyle. My name is Jason. I'm in the fifth grade. Thank you, Ms. Tannenbaum. My name is Erlen. I'm in the sixth grade. Thank you, Mr. Moore. My name is DeAndre. I'm in the ninth grade. Thank you, Governor Beebe. My name is Maria. I am in the fourth grade. Thank you, Mrs. Beebe. My name is Emir. I am in the sixth grade. Thank you, Mr. Williams. My name is Trinity. I'm in the ninth grade. Thank you, Mr. Drilling. 
Thank you for helping us, City Year!